the castle. This place was one time a graveyard for white people only or for Europeans only. But interestingly, this is the only Ghanaian, or the only black man, the Europeans buried among them. The name is Philip Kweku. He was a native of Cape Coast. A boy of 11 years old, he was sent to England by the Anglican Church where he was trained and educated. He even attended Oxford University where he was trained to become a priest. 1765, yes, he became a priest. He became the first black man to be made an Anglican priest. He was returned to this place at the peak of the slave trade. So it is also interesting to note that an African reverend minister returned to this place at the peak of the slave trade, led an all European congregation upstairs, whilst his fellow Africans were right underneath him in chains and in shackles. On records, he did not say anything for the slave trade. He did not say anything against that. So we say he was a tool in that oppression. He was a tool for us to make, for us to look docile and submissive because now your own skin or your own kind is telling you it's about okay. um, his master's propaganda. So the whole idea was he was sent to England to be indoctrinated, brainwashed, so that he could come back and do his master's bid. So when he died, they buried him here around 1816, age 75 years. So this is a grave of one, <coughs> Reverend Philip Quaco. The others are Europeans. Do you want me to talk to you about them? Age 46. And just beside George McLean, we had the wife, Leticia Elizabeth London. She traveled from England to Cape Coast, 1838 only to visit the husband but when she got here barely two months she was found dead in her husband's room some say malaria killed her others say she took in poison when she learned that the husband was cheating on her with one african woman <coughs> others also say the african woman the husband had connived with her, the husband and poisoned her so we don't know the actual cause of the teacher's death she died 1838 age 36 the other one was a soldier by name C.B. Whitehead. He also died 1812 at the age 38. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the known graves we have here. I'm saying known because um, 1994 we conducted an excavation and during the excavation we found about a dozen graves here. Those graves had no names on them so we had to cover them up. So among them, that is the only African or the only black man the honored or the buried among because yes as we know we know what he did yes any questions or comments ladies and gentlemen let me show you a reason this this used to be or oh, it's still a water tank it's the same tank right there the british built these tanks to store water you know this was a big castle and we have the era where the European people fought among themselves to enslave us, fought among themselves to loot gold. So it could happen that your castle or your establishment could be under siege or attack. So it meant that you couldn't go out. You had to depend on whatever you had here. Because when you look at the history of this land, this land changed hands five times among the Europeans. Portugal occupied in 1555. It changed hands from Portugal to Sweden, 1653. 1658, Denmark fought Sweden and took it. Holland fought Denmark. England fought Holland 1664. So the English lived here from 1664 to 1957. Yeah, so the English lived here for more than 300 years. Same as the other Europeans. Exactly, so this was built to store rainwater. They had pipes to all the roofs and all the pipes was channeled to the stand. But today, we don't store rainwater, rather, We've had this pipe, mm -hmm. we open it up, fill it up with water. In case we experience any water shortage, then we use the water we stored here. Yeah. So that is the situation here. That is this water. Ah, okay, in those days, it used to be really water. Also from the main pumping station. All right, so let me give you to the condemned cell.
You are now denied of water, food, and air. So three things killed you slowly. Starvation, test, and hunger. So you, you died a slow and a painful form of death. Because at the end of the day, if about 10 was here and six died, they will wait for the four to die. Before together, all the bodies was removed. Now, the bodies were shown to the rest of the captives. From there, the bodies were thrown into the sea. So they brought people who said no to them in this room to die. So this is part of the physical torture. Let's get some air, please. Watch out. 